country. The lobby is called Crystal Boys. Just die. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. And we are live. Welcome back to part 42 of Free Roam Fridays, where we free roam with Arthur in chapter 2. Arthur is chopping wood. However, I will tell you right now, he is merely doing it to create a dynamic introduction for this video. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. <laughs> Arthur has a lot to show you this week. Most of it is bison related. Let's get started. First, however, it seems as if my favorite bounty hunter camp has respawned. And what kind of horses do they have today? A humble Morgan and a Grulo Dunn Mustang. We can do better, or at least different. Yeah. Turn around and ride towards the crashed wagon at Twin Stacks Pass. and then ride back towards the smoke. You will notice that the horses have changed to a Tennessee Walker and another Morgan. Perhaps a downgrade, but this camp will cycle through low and medium tier horses, including the Piebald Tobiano Hungarian Halfbred, one of Arthur's favorite horses. And your map, triangulate between Larned Sod and the H and the A of New Hanover. Arthur already has a piebald. Let's move on. Whoa, easy. And here is the bison herd. Arthur loves the bison herd. Nothing would make Arthur happier than having a pet bison for a friend. Recall how Arthur bought all of that cover scent at the trappers last week. Let's apply some. The plan for today is to see how close we can get to a bison. At the very least, we shall collect some photos for the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second gaming channel, and our Discord. Ah! 
Let's take some photos. I like this one, though I do wish the light was better. Best case scenario, we get to punch a bison. These fellas are so big it will be more like a friendly slap. Or maybe we can even ride a bison. You never know. We have never been close enough to find out. Arthur is curious, and curiosity, as you know, is the fundamental basis of scientific inquiry. Look at these guys. I would also accept getting headbutted by a bison. That would be great content. And this is the closest we were able to get to one. And there he goes. Arthur spent the day sneaking up on bison. That was fun. Let's move on. Fast traveling to Valentine, we need to visit the gunsmith. Do come in. So, what are you aiming for today? Arthur prefers Flacco's revolver. However, we have customized the Cattleman with a long barrel and the Hero grip. I do like that grip. The carved ivory, the eagle, and the gold highlights. We will clean up the Lancaster and top up on ammo. Same with the Springfield. We never use the sawed off, however, I do like the look of a blued steel barrel on one with a brass frame, and also note the buck carving. I like to get that carving after we collect our first buck. Let's have a look in here. We also need some arrows. And I believe we have all the equipment upgrades. However, we can also read what the catalog has to say about them. Wheeler, Rawson & Company Weapon Accessories As patrons of husbandry are well aware, gun implements, cleaning supplies, and fashionable leather accessories for carrying and wearing weapons are an integral need and indeed communicate the earnestness and austere nature of the individual. While brandishing of a weapon is requisite in certain instances, 
The act of simply wrapping oneself in finely tooled bandoliers is a silent reminder of the fury that awaits should any deceit transpire. We stock a wide array of accessories, which are manufactured in the best manner possible and possess all of the up-to-date improvements available. It is absolutely highest grade in any particular, and upon purchasing a gun belt or holster from our concern, you will immediately notice they are artistically made and provide a perfect fitting, snug fit for your firearm. Not enough can be said about the discomfiture and embarrassment experienced when a pistol flops out of the holster because one is too small. Avoid dismay and measure today. Keep your gun well oiled and of exceptional quality and surpassing excellence with our distinctively different line of gun accessories. Failure to do so invites fiasco. Quiet, contemplative brooding brings success. Special Notice we cannot provide gun belts larger than 50 inches in size. They are not manufactured, and rather than initiating correspondence as to their unavailability and expressing declarations of aggrieved entitlement, ruminations on the situation may give cause to explore striving towards a size suitable for society. Good to know, the catalog got a little judgy towards the end, but that's okay. It's 1899. Let's move on. Anything else? Checking the map, we need to go right about here, northwest of the Sea of Cumberland Forest. You're all right now, girl. We can't really straight line it there, but we shall do our best. Yep. Crossing the tracks, avoiding Valentine, Arthur is feeling a little antisocial today. This area of the map always reminds me of tall trees. Yeah. And who's this? Kentucky Saddler. Yeah. I ain't just minding my own business. Get out of my sight! 
snuck up on a random camp. We'll deal with him later. Arthur has a general idea where we are. We need to go down this cliff. Here we go. And here is our exact location. This is one of my favorite rock carvings. Let's break it down. From left to right we have an atomic symbol and what looks like a mushroom cloud, some buildings, and then what looks like to me is the crown from the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty was erected in 1883 so it already exists. Although this carving seems to depict a future event, perhaps even a nuclear war or disaster. and the map once more. This carving also has a little of a Planet of the Apes vibe. I'm talking about the original 1968 movie, not the CGI remakes. I do love video games, but I hate CGI. Two things can be true at once. Let's move on. Let's go see if that camp is still there. It's okay, girl, just a scratch. This NPC seems unaware that he's camping perilously close to Six Point Cabin, a known O'Driscoll hideout. Arthur, better warn him. Pointing a gun at us so rude, Arthur cannot abide rudeness. Good manners cost nothing. You don't need to do this! You having fun? Hey, what? Does he have anything interesting? Let's move him out of the way. Alright, Dan. And I think Arthur wants to blow up his cow skull as punishment. You take care now. 
there. Help me! This what you want? Well, that was disappointing. Remind Arthur to craft some fire bottles, or at the very least, incendiary buckshot. Let's check up on Six Point Cabin. I believe it is abandoned. <laughs> you alright, girl? Abort, abort. Looks like the O'Driscolls are back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's grab the Lancaster and go to work. Check on hostels with the map. How close can we get? Son of a bitch is gonna get his now. We need to collect the hat before we move on. The hat is essential. Really like this fighting music. Nice. Well done, Arthur. A gold belt buckle, and we have one remaining inside. Might as well return this dynamite stick we just took off his buddy. Peace and quiet at long last. Is there anything inside? There is the shotgun we don't need and we never collected. Random supplies. Ginseng elixir. You get a health boost from ginseng, but I never use it. Wish we could resell them. And here is our exact location. 
Nothing of note outside. And what happened to our horse? There she is. Let's move on. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members only community posts featuring my random musings on life, TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. This seems like an odd place for a nap. But I'm not going to tell Arthur where he can lay his head. It's Arthur's world. We just live in it. On Fridays, we free roam. I'll see you in part 43. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Yeah, you good, girl? Okay, I'll catch you later then.